All right, here's an unboxing video for uh, Cold Steel uh, Coben. Just got it from Amazon. It's cheap, 35 bucks or something like that, I think. I wanted something small enough that uh, I could put on my uh, LBE. I also got a GI Tanto. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be carrying. That one's kind of rather large. This one's a lot smaller and might work for me. Haven't opened it yet, but uh, so I'll open it up with you guys now. So, uh, let's see here. Cheap box. I don't really care about the boxes. The sheath. Very nice. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's well made. This is kind of a first for me. I'm not much into knives. I'm more of a, a weapon gun guy. But, uh, looks nice. I see that the, the clip can be removed. I'm not gonna ah, mess with it. Probably knock the camera down. But it does come off. Oh, here it goes. So that's nice. Because I probably won't be using that clip. I don't think it'll be on my uh, Molly attachments. So there's that. And the knife. Covered in some plastic wrapping. Very thin. Very, very thin. Remove that. And here it is. It's uh, oiled well. Pretty thick back, I have to say. Uh, looking at it with the micrometer. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but it's at 0.13. So that's that's pretty good, I think, for a, for a knife this size. Uh, the edge, I believe it's a 21 degree cut. 0 0.028. Let me wipe this oil off. Uh, use uh, this is what I use. I'll wipe it off with the tough cloth later on. Very oily. That's good. Feels sharp. I'm not gonna do much of a test. I will show you guys the the shave your hair off test, but it never really works for me, so I'm not even gonna bother with it, especially not on video. Uh, here's the blade and the sheath. It is a one way. It looks like so you can't put it this way. You could, but it's not gonna go one way. Uh, it clips in. I can hear it click in. It's it's pretty tight. I would say about maybe four and a half pounds, five pounds of pressure. And I'm pulling it pretty well. Definitely isn't going to come off. There's no way in hell you could see. So if it was attached to something, come off pretty nice. Uh, paper cutting test. Uh, like in my other unboxing video, I just did. I suck at them, but I'll try. Oh, size-wise, comparison. SOG Flash 2. It's been my daily carry for the past three years now. It's thank God I've never lost it. Love this thing. Just to compare sizes. There's that. Blade wise, from edge to edge. That's that. Weight. SOG Flash 2. 4.1 ounce. The Coven? 4.3 ounce. Oh, pretty good. Uh, they use this, I'm pretty sure they use the same steel, the AUS 8. Uh, I, I can't say that my SOG has been the sharpest knife. Uh, I don't really sharpen with the stones and all that. I don't really know. I'm not much of a knife guy. But uh, I have the PP1 where you just kind of go like this. And I never really got it to be extra sharp. Uh, so let me go grab a piece of paper, see if I can do this paper cutting test. Be right back. Alright, here's a piece of paper. If you've seen my uh, key crew unboxing, I suck at this crap. I can't do it for worth a damn. Here's the SOG. So, and here's the Coven. 
pretty good. Wow. I can't do it because my SOG fucking sucks. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's kind of fun. Anyways, wow. Very sharp. I love it. Uh, I've heard that uh, these don't hold their edges well. I'll see. I'll be taking this out in the field with me. I don't really beat the shit out of my knives like I've seen people batoning, uh, chopping wood with it. I mean, I wouldn't go chop a wood with my rifle, so I'm not going to do that with a knife. It's not really what it's intended for. So, we'll see how it works out. Uh, pretty happy with it. Very light. Um, curious how it's going to compare to the, the GI Tanto. And that's it.